Hello guys, welcome back to the other half of Beast Makers. We are going to be starting it off with treetops. And by the way, I'm the Ghastly Banjo. So, on this uh, uh, Spiral Saturdays, we're going to be doing one of the hardest levels in the game right away. Lots of supercharging, and one of the things that people don't understand is you have to hop from supercharge to supercharge to not supercharge to another supercharge to the jump in most cir circumstances. You, you'll get... You'd be like, yeah, maybe I'll be able to make that. And you'll sit there and you'll just keep jumping off of the one single supercharge. And you'll never, ever, 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 ever make it to either of the two places. <clears throat> so that is something that a lot of people have problems with. And this level also has our thieves back, but they don't have any eggs. So they just got gems. So I'm going to do this a specific way. So because this guy, that the one that you just saw... We gotta get him all the way to the end. Unless I can get him right here. Which I don't think I don't think you're even able to do. I was close, so maybe I could have snuck it, which would have been pretty cool, but we gotta get him to the end. So then that way, when we uh, actually go to leave, we can just jump over to the actual top part. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Because once he gets there, I'm pretty sure he stays there. I don't think he can leave. So, there's that. If you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. I like the color scheme of that dragon a lot. So, here we go. That wasn't a good supercharge. That was that was that was horrible. We'll try that again. That's not a good sign for the beginning of this episode. <laughs> Gotta pay a little bit more attention there. <clears throat> Alright, let's just try that again. So, don't jump, otherwise you're going to fall off. But, we're going to hit that, and that's all we need to worry about here. You don't have to try and get up here, because you're not going to... I mean, maybe, if you're sneaky. But, I don't think that's... That's not the way it works, at least. Yeah, I doubt you can make it up there. And those little monkeys are a pain in the neck. Let me tell you, they throw bananas, and they can really whip them things. So... As I was saying, that's the end we were talking about. See, now that he's up there, he will stay there, at least to my knowledge. Which is good, because <clears throat> if he went anywhere else, that would be horrendous if you actually had to try and hunt him down and catch him instead of just corner him here and then eventually get him. Because he should just run around up there then. So, we're going to do a bit of backtracking now, because that was all just to get him there. Plus, I mean, get all the other gems. Because I like to, when I'm not accidentally missing gems, I like to try and get all of them. Because, <clears throat> like, certain places I know how much there are. Or, like, a, you know, a close, rough estimate. So then that way I'm just not assuming I missed any. So, yeah, this is where we're going to be running to. I don't remember if there's any enemies that spawn in here. Yeah, I didn't think so. <clears throat> Okay, so well, this is back at the beginning here now, and we are going to jump through this window. There is our key. See, look at these guys are, they even got attack formation, look at that. They were ready. After they hit you, they sit there and cheer for a little bit though, so... That's usually a good time, but I mean, once they hit you, you're already like, come on, really? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, once you get it down and you know what to do and you've done it a couple of times, it's not really that bad, but if you don't, if you think you can just make that jump here, you're gonna be sadly mistaken. So, I'm gonna grab all these and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right down here, that's what I'm talking about. If a lot of people are gonna try and make this jump from here, you will not make it. And there is a lot of gems over there, let me tell you that. Because I'm pretty sure the thief has a 25 
fleeting spiral. And there's one of the shoot ones that shoot you. Up, oh, you know, you gotta grab it. Has a 25. Look at that dragon eating dragon fruit. What a guy. All right, so we're gonna do that. You gotta jump all the way over here, and you gotta jump on this one, and there we go. See, that's how you do that. Made that on first try, which makes me happy. But I don't look like an absolute fool. Let's see if we can make the other one. <clears throat> see, normally I save this till the end, so then I know how many gems I have left. But as I didn't do that, I'll be guessing. I think I'll do them all. You learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. I like how all the dragons have like a eye somewhere. I'm imagining it's probably some like swamp monster's eye. Alright, so we gotta get everything up here. Oh, that was close. Coming way too hot there. Almost had to. Almost so hot, I burnt out and gotta get reignited. All right, so we. Uh, okay. If you do the, if you run from the second one, if you do both of them, you don't want to jump there. But apparently, if you only do the bottom one, you can definitely make that jump. Because if you won't hit that uh, chest otherwise. So, yeah, there should be 500. So I believe there is 100 up here also about. Yeah, that one definitely has more gems than the other one. But I usually get that one before. So that's why. But either way, both of those little areas that are a ways away take a bit. So, let's see if I can do. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, that's not the one I want to go to. I'm not far enough back. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Ooh, there's that guy there. Hmm. We will have to go check him out, because I definitely missed him on the road. Hmm, where is he? that guy. And we'll go get this chest right away. <clears throat> I like this one because that a bunch of green and yellow. Like that was pretty cool. I don't see a lot of those. Alright, so yeah, 85, that sounds better. So we just gotta make that jump and we gotta hug this wall tight. There we go. And we're gonna just go do this. And got him. If you just keep going as you land there just for a second, you should hit the thief every time. I would assume. So, yep, that puts us right at done. So I only hit the one death because I jumped right away because I was talking wasn't paying attention. But as I said, um whoop. Yeah, metal hits the next one of those. So we are actually gonna go get that now because I like to save my speedways for last. So, Metalhead, here we come. <clears throat> I'm really excited to see what the end is like with the fairgrounds, because they got the little ride area, Dragon Shores, which is gonna be cool. I'm really excited for it, actually. Um, 
so here's metalhead yes I will take that life even though I didn't lose a, like 20 of them <laughs> on treetops <clears throat> So it made it seem like it was a lot worse than it was going to be. I handled that all right, I'd say. So this level really isn't too bad. There are a couple little secret areas, of course, that might not be very noticeable at first, so you don't have to look out for that, but otherwise it's really not, he's not too hard of a boss, it shouldn't be too hard to get perfect, because he does shoot lightning, which does sound bad, and he does throw monkeys at you, but, so with him, um, there's like little electric rods that you have to destroy, and that's how you kill him. So, any of his attacks can break those electric rods. So as long as you dodge and you just keep running, you can basically just destroy all of them really quick and had him break a couple too. Because there are some that don't change as much. <clears throat> so there is that. Oh, did these guys die down here? Yes. Okay, so that's another thing you gotta watch out for. The ones that they throw, they just drop their gems. So there's no guaranteed location. Where that other one went. And the sparks picked it up already, which I'm really hoping is the case. Because I have no idea. Yeah, but he didn't respawn over there. So. Alright, so we'll just have to see. If I'm missing one, we might have to scour everywhere around over there. But for now, we're just going to continue. <coughs> oh, maybe he did respawn over here. So yeah, if you can, it's definitely best to try and hit them while they throw them, just by charging right away. Because then you don't have to worry about looking for the gem. But, if you don't, I mean, usually it's not too horrible. So I just gotta make sure I'm on the right side here, because a little secret to get over there and grab the key is right here. So... <clears throat> Drop down here, and I'm probably gonna. Oh, I didn't get hit in the water a lot. Most times when I hit that jump, block my head and fall in. So there's an easily missable life right there that we're gonna grab. We're gonna go all the way around up here. Work our way back down for these guys. <clears throat> and just continue on, because up here is the key. Also, so as I was saying, I'm pretty sure the last world doesn't have really any dragons in it, but it does still have a good amount of treasure. So, I mean, that's, that's not necessarily in saying that the levels are any easier. But after this, I am going to start right into Riptide, or uh, Ripto's Rage. I don't know why I said Riptide. Um, and there's not going to be any, like, in between. Whatever. How many, like, so if I end up making two episodes for the last world and Dragon Shores only takes me one episode I will do that otherwise I might just do a bonus oh just a long episode the Saturday after I beat Nasty Nork and then that's how we'll start uh, Ripto's Rage because then I'll just do a little teaser along with that and then we'll start Ripto's Rage that next week it'll just see how the videos go I don't know how long Dragon Shores is gonna take me so we'll just see how it plays out, but there will be a continuing amount of episodes coming out. So, here is the only dragon in here. Metalhead is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt his power supply. Alright, so we just gotta make sure to charge these and watch what he does. the last one and then he'll just go through to the next room <clears throat> he's only got two stages the next one's definitely more intense 
but as long as you just charge a lot, you should be fine. Sorry about that. Oop, I died, didn't I? Whoops. Let me make sure that's down. I don't even know why my ringer's on. Alright. Hopefully that doesn't count for all well, it won't count for my perfect because I'm gonna do this again. That was close, my no. That would have counted. Alright, then we'll just continue on now. Like I was saying. I didn't even know there was goop down there. Alright, what? That's pretty cool. I didn't know that happened. Alright. So, we're gonna continue. So, he destroyed that one. And I just gotta destroy these two, and we should be good. Yep. Now we should get our skill point right away. Not too shabby. Alright, so over here is our treasure chest. Treasure the floor. So we're gonna go around out here first. <clears throat> Again, I, I turned it off. Jeez, okay, I don't know why my phone just keeps making noise. I apologize about that again. That shouldn't be happening. And I have it completely muted, so I don't know what it's doing. Alright, so that should be the rest of our gems right here, I believe. If I can make it over there, what the heck? In a fiver. So let's see if we can find that right quick. I bet you I know where it's at. We're gonna have to go all the way back to the beginning and find that one that I said we might have picked up. Because apparently we did not. <coughs> Which of course is how it's gotta go. <laughs> it's just gonna be randomly floating somewhere over there. So yeah, it's not over here. There it is. Alright. So, we got our skill point, and there's four in the next world, I believe. Because I believe it's Q's, it is the boss. So, um, four in the next world, and just beating Nasty Nork. Perfect. It's the only other one after that. So, that's not too bad. <clears throat> and now on to our last level of beast makers we are going to go to the speedway
Okay, um... Back this way... And I know, yeah, the speedways are a little bit of backtracking to get to since I do them last. But then I'll just do a little walkthrough of the world again before I'm done. <clears throat> and we'll just jump down on our little well here. And wild flight, here we come. So this one you're going to ignore what I've told you to do in most of them. You're not... I mean, there's a little bit of an order, but I'm going to do two kind of simultaneously and then the other two simultaneously because it just works the best and you build up a lot of time that way. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this arch and Christmas and boat and hopefully not die. Alright, so we're going to go for boats and arches first because you can get them together pretty easy. Wow. Let's try that again. My camera was really active right there for some reason. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Alright. Come around with that one. Do a little bit of good maneuvers here. Let's see a little bit better. Camera a little bit less there. And see now if you have to pick between a boat and an archway, always go for the boat. Because the boat if you miss it, it's going to be a lot harder to find than the archway because the boats move. So the archway, you can always just do some quick turn or like see like that little oh, is there. So we're going to get this one and hopefully come back right away. And grab this one. Alright, so we did nail that. Now we're going to come in here into the treasure chest. And now we're gonna See, so this is another place where you can use a technique, um, bouncing into the wall like I did a lot, to stop yourself at a high point. So when you drop, you can turn and you can get your wings out again. And so you can get back right into flying. Because even if you stop flying, as long as you get your glide back in, you get your unlimited fly the whole time you're in the flight zone. So like with this one where we're jumping back and forth, and if you're trying not to take a couple extra uh, laps, that's a good way to shave off some time. It's definitely something you gotta practice, because, I mean, in this level especially, if you're trying to do it the way I did, because with the zipping up and down, your camera likes to get in a weird angle, or you can bump into stuff and drop, and a lot of times when you're swooping down, if you drop like that, you're, you're done. So, I mean, there is a little bit of tricks, this one is a little bit harder, but we managed to do it not too bad, and... We're going to call that an episode since that is all of Beastmakers. So thanks for joining me. Have a great day and see you next time.